All right, state your name for the record. Brooks. Brooks who? Mattingly. Any relation to the Mattingly? Oh, uh, yes. Oh, possibility. We'll talk about that on another video. What we were using this for is if you see we have this bucket right here, because the problem that we were having with Brooks is he really wasn't bringing the chest down good enough to get the back leg to lift up. So we put this bucket there so that if he does it wrong, he knocks it over. But I want you to realize the purpose of what we're doing this as the chest comes down, What's that look like on a playground, Brooks? Uh, a seesaw. A seesaw, right? As the chest comes down, what happens is the backside starts to lift up. That's the purpose of the bucket, to get ourselves up and above that bucket in the rocker drill. So there you see, doing yourself the rocker drill, and then when we get ready to throw, as you're rocking, we're going to push off the back leg. How many rocks are you doing on this? There we go. Rock, chest down. And then watch how the leg kicks up. Because before, what you were doing is on the next shot, where we're like this, but then watch what I do with the back leg after my rocks. I don't get the chest down. See how the chest is now straight up? And that's what we were doing before. We were releasing the ball without driving the chest down. What happens is that leg doesn't get up, and it kicks the bucket to the side like that, and that's how you fix Chest thrust is what we're trying to work on, getting your chest to come down. We got an F on this, but we did that second because I asked you to do it. But you got an A on this, and this is where you did it right. Right in here. Coming forward, chest comes down. Look at the difference of how you're releasing it. Before, your chest was up there. Now we're starting to transfer our energy up into the arm. Chest comes down, lifts up the back leg. The bucket still lives to see another day. Good job.